Hello and welcome back to Beckler Guitars and Repairs. Today we're checking out an ERT SSS Stratocaster type guitar. Let's check it out. So there's a million people covering Ert guitars, um, mostly because they're phenomenal guitars for the money. Uh, they're very inexpensive and they have a lot of high-end features. And uh, every Ert that I've tried has played and sounded great. So let's see if this one uh, lives up to the hype here. So <clears throat> this guitar you used to be able to purchase on Amazon for around $250 Canadian. Now, that has since gone up. Um, I don't know if that's due to COVID, inflation, anything else, but now they're about $350, which is, in my opinion, still a pretty acceptable price for this, um, especially when we get into all the different features. I picked this one up used, and uh, I paid $150 for this guitar used. And uh, this one's in like near mint shape. It's in very, very nice shape. And uh, I thought about using it as some sort of a modding platform. Maybe upgrading the pickups, maybe putting in a new kind of a 10-way switch, which uh, might be interesting. Anyway, if that's something you guys want to see, just let me know in the comments. But let's get into the features. So, okay, this has a roasted mahogany body. Uh, this is two-piece mahogany. I can see the center line just right down the middle there. So two pieces of roasted mahogany. And then we've got a really nice rosewood fingerboard with those simulated clay dots. And then we've got a bone nut. We've got a roasted one piece maple neck. We've also got stainless steel frets, which are super nice and polished, and they also have rounded ends, so they look like little ball bearings. All the Ertz that I've played have had extremely nice frets on there. They really pay attention to the fret job, and because it's stainless steel, it's gonna last a very long time. Another cool feature is you've got your spindle truss rod adjustment wheel right here at the end of the fretboard so it's very easy to adjust your truss rod and this one's got a mint green pick guard which you know i could take or leave it looks all right but i think a cream would look a lot better on this especially with the very white pickups these are ceramic pickups so the pickups aren't uh, anything super special but we'll see how they sound we've got a six point tremolo here and uh, I can see right away that the uh, bridge is lifted a little bit so we're going to have to do a little bit of a setup on this guitar for sure then you've got your standard five-way pickup selector and volume tone tone just like a regular Strat another kind of a cool feature so this has a 25.5 scale just like a normal Fender but what's unique to this guitar, it's got a compound radius. So it starts off as a 7.25 and it goes to a 9.5. So that means it's a little easier to cord up here. And then as it flattens out, it gets a little bit easier for bends and stuff like that without having to worry about choking out. So this is a more premium feature that a lot of uh, the fenders don't even have. So that's definitely a higher end feature and it's, it's nice to see. Um, we've got some fancy little string trees here, and uh, the tuners don't appear to be anything special. However, um, they seem to be the same ones on the hollow body that I reviewed, and uh, these were great tuners. They're nice and tight, no issues with them. And then on the back, another unique feature is it goes from a, a C profile to a U. And uh, like the compound radius, it just helps a little bit easier to cord here because you have that little that C, it kind of fits your hand nicely. But then when you want to flatten out to do more solo type stuff, you have that nice U neck. So yeah, lots of premium features 
on this very modestly priced guitar. Especially this one, I got it for $150 Canadian. Crazy. So, okay, let's go ahead and get some specs and then we'll take it apart and then plug it in and see how it sounds. All right, width of the nut is a 1.66. And at the 12th fret, it's a 2.04. Neck depth of the first fret is a 0.839. And at the 12th fret, a 0.839. So it stays the same thickness throughout. Um, that's probably because here it's a C and then it kind of goes into a U. So normally you would have it a little bit thicker here if it followed the same profile, but because it's a compound uh, profile, that's why it's roughly the same because the contour actually changes. So here's a look at that neck profile. So you can see it starts off like a rounded C, but then it flattens out into kind of a D shape there. I think they're calling that a U. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. And here is a look at our pickup reading. So in our bridge pickup, it's reading a 5.27. Fourth position, 2.63. Middle is a 5.13. Second is a 2.60. And first is a 5.15. All right, here's a look with the pick guard off. So yeah, looks like we have really nice looking routes. Um, there's no shielding paint in here at all, which uh, I'm not sure if will be a problem or not because of the single coils. But uh, anyway, um, you can see it's really nice looking mahogany. It is grounded to the wood here in the middle. We've got that one grounding wire. And the routes look really nice. It looks like you have the option to um, switch some humbuckers in the back here so it's routed that you could put a humbucker a single coil in the middle and then another humbucker in the front which is uh, nice again i'm probably going to be using this as a modding platform i might as well keep it because i got it for such a low amount of money and uh, it's got really nice features on here so i mean i'm probably gonna mod this until i really really like it so um yeah that's nice putting some humbuckers in a strap might be interesting and then here's a look at our electronics, which uh, you can see because these are big magnets in the back of the pickup. So these are definitely ceramic pickups. There are branded ERT. It looks like they're using Chinese uh, potentiometers, um, but they are full size, which is nice to see. And then some sort of capacitor here, this little yellow thing. I've seen these before in uh, Chinese bottles. And then just your simple circuit board switch here at the bottom. So yeah, decent components. Um, it'd be nice if this switch was a little more premium, but uh, the pots look fine. Yeah, everything looks fine. All right, so nothing really interesting in our neck uh, pocket here. You can see that it is recessed here, so you have access to that uh, adjustment wheel. And uh, you can see the mahogany wood grain, which looks nice. But there's no markings of any kind in there. Uh, neither is there any on the neck. You can see our adjustment wheel just right there. Um, and then they actually cut a little channel in the fretboard here, so you have access to it. It looks like nice and clean route. And uh, it fits in there really nice and tight. So no wiggle room at all, really. And uh, yeah, you can't quite lift the whole guitar with uh, how tight it is, but it's definitely a lot tighter than some fenders I've seen. So that's nice. Also no shims, which is something I've seen uh, from fenders from the factory. So that's nice to see. And then uh, I just wanted to mention that each one of these bolts has like a nice um, washer kind of a thing on there and these holes are recessed so that they don't poke out over the top which again is a nice feature all right here's a look at our back route so again nice route you can see the nice mahogany and there's no uh you know fuzzies hanging off anywhere sometimes on even on gibsons you'll get some tear out and fuzz uh this is a really nice clean route so uh, just something to note, it looks like the spring mount is actually brass, so I don't know if that's on purpose for a reason or not, or um, 
maybe it sounds better or something, but uh, I haven't seen that in a lot of guitars, but it's kind of interesting. And then there's a look at our trim block here. Uh, let's see if it holds a magnet. No, it does not. So whatever that means, I think it means this is potted metal and it's not quite as high quality as some of the other uh, trim blocks, but yeah, it works, uh, and the copper thing does hold a magnet. All right, here's a look at our headstock. Again, this guitar is in really nice shape. No scratches or dings anywhere. And uh, there's our nut. There's our rosewood fingerboard. So, uh, full disclosure, I just ran through this through the buffer. I wanted to see these uh, how shiny I could get these stainless steel frets. And uh, they were shiny before, but now they're just like diamonds shining. Um, and yeah, no fret sprout at all on this guitar, and the frets are nice and rounded. They look great. Let me see if I can get one on camera here. Yeah, just really nice job on the fretwork. And uh, this tobacco sunburst satin finish looks really nice. And again, just no scratches or dings anywhere. Looks really good. What's really nice is this side mounted output jack too. So just nice and out of the way. On strats, it can be a little bit of an issue plugging in the front. Um, for me anyway, some people prefer the side mounted jacks and uh, I am one of those people. we also got this nice little comfort carve here to help access to the higher frets, which is a nice touch, and your standard belly cut there. And just another look at our one-piece maple neck. There's no scarf joint here, so yeah, it is one piece. And that is roasted maple, as well as the roasted mahogany body. So yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and string this thing up and see what kind of a setup we can get on it. All right, managed to get a really nice setup on this guitar. So if we use our notched straight edge, you can see that the truss rod's set nice and tight. There's only a very small gap between the straight edge and the fretboard. And then here at the third fret, you can see those nice polished frets again. Um, but when I use the third fret, you can see that it's just resting very nicely against that first fret. So that tells us that the truss rods are nice and straight and also the nut is cut very well, our bone nut. And then here at the 12th fret, we're at uh, just under 1.5 millimeters for the low E and just under one millimeter for the high E. So yeah, very nice and low. That's where I like to set all my guitars. And just running up and down the fingerboard to see if there's any fretting out or buzzing. I like to speed this part up, but if you want to hear it in real time, just slow down the player to 0.25 or 25% speed. So yeah, no fretting out or even a hint of buzz anywhere on the fingerboard, even with it being that low. So I could likely lower it even more, which is pretty unheard of on a guitar at this price point, especially since I haven't done any fret work on this. I buffed the frets just to, to get them nice and shiny, but no actual fret work was done. So again, I'm not sure if this came like this from the factory because it is a used guitar or someone put a lot of time into perfecting the setup. But uh, anyway, I, I can get this as low as a lot of my super high-end guitars um, with no issue, which is very nice uh, at a guitar I paid $150 for. All right, let's go ahead and plug it in and see how these pickups sound. All right, here I am plugged into the One True King amp. That's enough. Okay, we're going to try it out with some clean, go through each position, and then throw a little dirt on there and see how that sounds.
Uh, so yeah, sounds uh, surprisingly good clean. I mean, these pickups really do sound Stratocaster-like. Um, I mean, sounds like vintage Fender tones coming out of this thing. And uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting much out of these pickups, but they're proving me wrong. They, they sound really good. All right, let's try them out with a little bit of dirt. All right, final thoughts on the Ert SSS. I'm kind of in shock about how good this guitar is for how much I paid for it. I mean, $150 does not get you much in the guitar world. Um, maybe an overdrive pedal, but this guitar plays and sounds quite great. Like, the stainless steel frets are perfect on it, super nice and level. I just have it as low as any of my other super high-end guitars. Um, with the nice rounded ends on it, which is a really nice touch. It's got a nice thick rosewood fingerboard, roasted maple neck, roasted mahogany body. Um, I really like this spindle truss rod style. It makes it really easy to adjust your neck whenever you need to. Uh, it stayed in tune really well. These ERT tuners actually are surprisingly really nice. They stay, they feel nice and tight. 
and responsive and uh, I had no problems with tuning. The pickups are ceramic which is uh, usually par for the course on these cheaper Chinese guitars. However, this specific set sounded really, really good. Uh, it sounded a little bit better clean than dirty in I found, but uh, they sounded great in both, and you could get some really nice Stratocaster tones out of this thing. It sounded sounded great. And the trem worked really well. It stayed in tune really well after using the trem. I know I didn't use it much in the video, but uh, it does work great. And uh, yeah, just not a lot of negative things to say about this thing at all. Um, I'm definitely going to keep it. Um, I'm going to use it as a modding platform. I might try out some Alnico pickups on there, some like Lindy Freelands or something like that. Maybe try a different switch that has more capabilities. I saw a really cool like 10-way switch you can do that really changes up the possibilities. You can make it sound like humbuckers and single coils and all sorts of stuff. But uh, yeah... Um, I would definitely recommend picking these one of these up if they're still cheap. I mean, even for $350 brand new, that's still a really nice deal. Um, Amazon's got a really good return policy too. So if you get one, um, maybe not as great as this one, it has some trouble or some issues, you can always send it back and try again. That's kind of the nature of the beast with these cheaper Amazon style guitars is I'm sure some are better than others. I've been getting really lucky when it comes to these cheap guitars. I've been getting some really nice examples but I've heard online and other reviews that people get you know big issues with these guitars sometimes so um, just take that into mind when you're buying you might not get a perfect one like this um, but you could always try a couple of times and see if you do. Ert also makes a bunch of other different models so uh, worth checking out anyway because every Ert that I've tried out has been really nice and uh, yeah no complaints on this one either. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you for tuning in to Beckler Guitars and Repair, and I'm going to have more for you really soon. Thanks a lot.